This is a big fish. Big fish. So the question is, without all these electronics that we have on the boat, all these expensive electronics, how would we go about catching fish in a lake? Let's get to it. All right, folks, so today we're going to start off teaching you guys how to locate fish without all the high dollar expensive fish finders. We are going to be fishing with shrimp today. Now I'm going to get everything baited up, get the boat headed in the direction that I want and kind of the speed that I want, which is going to be the tricky thing. Now for some folks that have a trolling motor that has GPS, the remote will tell you how fast you're going. If not, you can use your navigation maps on your phone, um, your GPS on your phone. You can download apps that tells you how fast you're moving many, many different ways. Uh, but speed is gonna be a big, big thing. All right, so now that we got everything baited up, I'm going to get the remote and get my trolling motor set the direction and the speed that I want it to go. And I'm gonna get us turned around here. The wind is coming into our face, so I'm gonna pull into the wind. And I like pulling into the wind. It just makes it a little bit easier controlling the boat. Um, if you don't pull into the wind, if you drift with the wind, then you have to put out drift socks and slow the boat down. Got the boat straightened out. I'm just gonna cast these out, start dragging. I'm gonna try to keep my speed about point 0.5 to start with. I'm gonna put a planter board out each side. And then I'm gonna have one straight back behind the boat. These are offshore OR12 planter boards with a pigtail clip on the back. Just clip it on there. And I don't want to have to chase them, so I'm putting it behind what's called a needle. We'll just let it out. All right, folks, I think we got our first one right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Didn't take long. We've been dragging for about, I don't know five ten minutes and uh got our first one on sandusky bay channel cats and we're using the medium light trolling rods and this was on shrimp and it was straight back behind the boat now the other two i've got out to the side of the boat one's got chicken and one's got shrimp on it this feels like a pretty decent fish this was on the float, not the demon dragon. And these are all details that you want to pay attention to uh, as you start fishing. Look at him bending that rod. Oh, yeah. Holy smokes, folks. Holy smokes. What a fish to start. This was a big fish. Big fish. Oh, yeah. I don't care who you are. This right here will get your blood pumping. First one of the day. I ain't been here 10 minutes fishing. Look what we got. Big old nasty channel cats. Oh yeah. Now that's a good one to start the trip right there. 14 pound, big old headed. Channel cat, baby. Let's get him back in the water. Here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go. Number three on the board. Number three. And I just started cutting. That last one, we was going towards that concrete thing, power line. And this time I was cutting back, getting ready to go back across. And uh, bait got to the front of it. 
and boom there he is another one for the shrimp shrimp kebab now i've been going about the same speed and about 0.5 but if you're going if you're making a turn like for instance when we was going to towards that power line pole the one we caught it on was the slower board now this one here in the middle is always going to stay pretty consistent but if you're either the outside board or the inside board the inside on the inside board will go faster or go slower and the outside board will always go faster i'm here this is just a wonderful way to locate fish quick without big old expensive electronics let's get him back let's catch another one all right looky here i think we got one on oh yeah there we go now as you can see what i did was i was right over there by that power line and i come straight across the channel and i come towards this power line and then started straight up the lake and what i'm finding out is these fish are really on the ledges so i've looks like i've got two ledges where i'm at whenever i crossed the channel there wasn't much activity but whenever i hit this ledge i caught another fish so little details even though you don't have a sonar like that you can you can still pick up on the details and you can find structure you can find ledges you can find a lot of stuff and and fish it and fish it productively another nice channel cat come here buddy here we go here we go watch this one right here watch that planter board. watch him go watch him go there we go there we go right on that ledge just like before you know working these areas side to side and then finding out a quick pattern and going with it is a, just an absolute great technique well this is a good fish he's pulling hard get this planter board unsnapped here there we go this is by far the easiest way to locate fish now if i wanted to you know by knowing that they're on this ledge and we do have a little bit of current in here i could spot lock and just cast out and wait on them but still yet you know moving dragging this ledge is the most effective way to do it that's a good fish back there folks i haven't been here on the bay since the first of june i was up here for that veterans fishing trip <clears throat> and i come straight up here today and come straight out here and just started dragging and within just an hour and a half maybe even maybe even less we've put some solid fish in the boat and been able to figure out what these fish are wanting they want they want it on the ledge and we're getting a double we're getting a double right there see just like that just like that that's what i'm talking about we've got it figured out they'll they're eating at 0.5 and as long as we stay stay on that ledge i think we could just drag and drag and drag and catch and catch and catch look at the head on that thing folks oh my gosh what a fish 15 pounds there we go folks oh quit it all right beautiful beautiful fish what a way to come out here it's simple it's easy you don't have to spend a bunch of money on electronics and it's effective we have got these fish dialed in folks i want to thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed this week's show and hopefully you'll be able to use this information out on your body water put more fish in a boat and find them easier hey we'll catch you next week thanks for watching tight lines god bless we'll see you later